Lee went into the engine bay yesterday and he found uh, one of the hoses had broken. So go through the lockers and any preparations that I'm doing. Okay, so I'll show you what's under our sink. <laughs> it's under our bunk bed. Oh, it's not gonna work. We'll get sorted guys, don't, don't worry. <laughs> so that's exciting. Wild and free, baby we can dream farther than our a couple of weeks ago when we realized we were going to head off um, and go across the Indian Ocean we haven't looked at our Iridium for a while and I opened it to change the SIM card and this is the battery out of there it had exploded <laughs> expanded um, and I just thought I'd share because it's pretty common actually happened to our friend of ours I messaged and said is your battery okay and he said same thing um, so if you have an Iridium, don't leave it plugged in. I don't think the batteries like it. Uh, it doesn't work without a battery, so you have to have a battery. Even though you can plug it in, um, you've got to have a battery. So we finally got our new one. It arrived. We had some trouble getting it. Only one company in the US ships it, and it was like 140 US dollars for this little thing to be shipped to Malaysia. Um, but yeah, it arrived, so we have a new one, and now we have a satellite phone again. But just thought I would let everyone know because this is common apparently. So check your Iridium battery if you haven't used it for a while. So we're supposed to leave tomorrow. There's a weather window um, tomorrow to go across to Indonesia. But Lee went into the engine bay yesterday and he found uh, one of the hoses had broken off the exhaust, the filter of the exhaust. I think that's right. Wanted to uh, replace the whole thing. Anyway, he's been in town all day today. The kids and I have been here cleaning and, and preparing, putting things away. And um, he hasn't had any luck. So he got a starter motor, which our starter motor is fine, but we wanted a spare because we've learnt our lesson, guys. <laughs> we are having spares for everything. Um, we got a spare alternator yesterday, so that was good. And uh, yeah, the starter motor is the wrong configuration, but he's got it. He hasn't come back to the boat yet, so he's going to try and see if he can make that work, which would be amazing. Um, then we've just got to source that other problem. Um, so yeah, we're supposed to leave tomorrow, but we're not. We got all our wet weather gear from Burke Marine, which we are super stoked about, so grateful. Um, and everything else is coming together quite nicely. Uh, we've put all of our provisions in places. We've probably got to do maybe one more run into town. It's all okay, everything will work out and we will be ready when we're ready and we will leave in the perfect timing and everything will flow. But. It's frustrating because you kind of get your heart set on leaving and then you build up and you like kind of, it's kind of stressful. It's pretty stressful getting ready and then there's this whole, we need to be at ease with not going tomorrow. So we were trying to force it to happen and that's, we should know by now. Sailing, you just <laughs> you go with the flow. <laughs> Things break, things happen, and yeah, we are used to it, but it's like we haven't moved for a very long time, so we just wanted to get going. But that's okay. These things happen for a reason, and, and we're super grateful that we didn't leave and things broke, you know, the next day. So we will get totally prepared. Our starter motor looks exactly like this, sitting there. The only thing is, this face here is open on this side. So for me to get that same effect, I've got to go like that. And it's here nor there. It, it'll work, but I just don't know if I've got clearance for this down there on the hull of the boat. So this is the first trial, otherwise I've got to order one and it's just going to delay us. No, it's not going to work. No. Huh? No. Nope. It's not gonna work. No. Mama. This means we'll have to order one online. So Lee and I have just been into town, done a, another run into one of the 
shops. It should be one of our final last runs. We think we're pretty stocked up and then we'll just need fresh veggies just before we leave, but we're pretty good. We've, I don't know how much food we got on the boat. <laughs> we've got trolley after trolley after trolley. We, I reckon we've got six months worth of food. Easy. We could definitely, we could probably survive. For Ready for the apocalypse. <laughs> we'll show you guys what we have. I'll just show, go through the lockers and any preparations that I'm doing. I didn't get bananas either. Oh. <laughs> We'll get sorted guys, don't, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> but we're pretty good, I reckon uh, the boat is, we're running out of room. Lee had success yesterday, found our air filter and he's going into town to pick up the, the hose. Yeah, so way back there when we were in Indonesia, our air filter died and we had to put together a real sort of rough setup. Um, in Indonesia and it's just broken and now we've found the original part we needed so gonna go in that the guys fabricating a bit of stainless steel for me from three inch down to two and a half inch and yeah we'll show you what we've got there I'm I'm hungry. I think the camera's shaky because I'm really I'm hungry, hungry too I'm starving <laughs> sorry if it's all a bit jiggly but yeah I just thought we'd fill you in where we're at um we're getting closer to being ready and then we just gotta wait for the weather I'm home for all of this stuff and I think they're going up in these cupboards here. Beef randang, which is like curry in a can. You can beef them up with some more coconut milk and put some veggies in there and some rice and voila. The sauce is actually really yummy. Um, we've got some baked beans, we've got beetroot, oh, tartar sauce, coconut milk. Oregano leaves, lemon pepper seasoning, pasta. A lot of it put away. We had two big blocks of cheese. I'll show you our fridge at the moment. It's so packed. <laughs> oh my gosh. We've got like five dozen eggs, cheese, blocks of cheese. There's all veggies and stuff down the bottom. Some yogurt, sauces, pickled onions. What else have I done? Oh, there's lots of beer. Butter. You name it, it's in there. We are very, very lucky that, you know, we have this big chest fridge. And we also have a freezer and I put some blueberries in there today and some more chicken and... I'm gonna have baking paper here for ages. They were out for some reason. We have stocked on alcohol. Langkawi is one of the cheapest places in the world to buy alcohol, it's duty free. So as you can imagine, the boat is stopped. We're getting there. We're pretty much done. There's a few last minute things that we've maybe forgotten if we can grab them we will but So the other day when I cleaned out all in the cupboards all in through my container I had weevils and um, I was talking to Shawnee my stepmom and She said put some bay leaves in amongst your cupboard in your flowers in anywhere where there's Not where the weevils are, but once you've cleaned them all out um, apparently, if there's bay leaves, they won't lay eggs in there. So, there's a weevil tip or a bug tip. I don't know where this stops. Also, cloves, or whole cloves. So, that's what I've been doing. <laughs> so, we have green leaves all amongst everywhere. I just throw them in my hatches, put them in the rice, in the rice, in the flour containers, oats. Whatever, whatever I think weevils are going to go into, I've uh, thrown some bay leaves. So there's a tip for anyone who is interested. So I'm just going to show you what's in our cupboards in just above where Bella's room is. This, we have olives, jalapenos. I'm just thinking now we don't have enough jalapenos. Pickles, all our tins of tuna are in there. And that's cupboard one, cupboard two. Got baked beans, some sauerkraut, more olives, more jalapenos. Oh no, we've got plenty of jalapenos. What's behind there? Oh, some pitted cherries. Beetroot slices, artichoke. I think that's a can of corn. Well, <laughs> in here we have some peanut butter, more baked beans, tahini. Got lots of tahini because we like hummus. Uh, I think there's mustard in the back there. Or oh, mustard in the front too. 
This one is all our tin tomatoes. More tahini. I'm pretty sure it goes back about four tins in a row back to the back. And that's all tomatoes and more olives and tomato paste. Coconut milk and some beans. Chickpeas, so all our chickpeas are down there and lentils and black beans. Okay, right, so I'll show you what's under our sink. Um, I've put a lot of the bottled stuff under here. We've got lots of oil. Uh, we had a really nice guy, one of our viewers, Gary. Thank you, Gary. Send us a heap of vitamin C. Keep us nice and healthy on passage and some other vitamins. So, um, Gary, you're a legend. Thank you, mate. And under here, there's some more tahini. We've got coconut oil. More coconut oil. All that dishwashing stuff is under here. We've got sesame oil, olive oil, and another big coconut oil. It's <laughs> pretty much coconut oil in here. And then I've got some cast oil soap, which we use best for everything, and we just like water it down, we wash with it, we use it shampoo. It's really good. So I've got all up about, I think about 10 litres of coconut oil, um, probably five litres of olive oil, some ghee, and we've got butter in the fridge. So that's one thing I don't like running out of is cooking oil or stuff to cook with. <laughs> so under our bunk bed, we've um, Lee's made up this big, or Lee and Bella, made up a big net so that everything doesn't go flying. We've had to keep our old freezer and um, we stacked it full of goodies. It's actually got Boxes of wine and some chocolate in there. Woo! There's lots of chocolate in there. <laughs> and a box of wine. So that's how we're utilizing that. We've got chips, rice bubbles, there's a big bucket under this. I've probably got 10 bags of corn chips, maybe more than 15. And there's a bag of rice in there. Coconut milk. I think there's some wraps down there as well, so I'll try and use all that stuff up first. And um, that's just, it's under there. This locker is full of pasta and noodles, and of course, some more chocolate. The rest of the lockers have nuts, seeds. We've got about 20 kilos of flour, rice crackers, heaps of rice, and more. But that's enough provision talk. As you can see, we aren't going to starve out at sea. Most people put up post-it notes <laughs> with jobs, like this, a little post-it note. But no, Lee has stuck all the things that he needs to do to the roof. And we just had a big crash because, not very surprisingly, this thing <laughs> fell down. <laughs> so I don't think it's real safe. Don't do this at home, kids. You might hurt someone. But it's a good idea. Kind of. <laughs> when we were in Indonesia, this one, the K&N filter, it's like a high flow air filter. I don't know, it was on our boat originally, but it must have been over five, six years old and it just fell apart. Um, and in Indonesia, we had to sort of diddle together whatever I could find in one of the shops there. But I happened to find this in the shop here in Langkawi. And today I also got a pipe made up um, so that it turns it down away from the floor because originally this sort of rubbed on our floor and that's what created the damage on it so I've got this made up today it's our new little pipe set up and uh, we're gonna hook this up and see how we go it's gonna be a lot better than what we're running at the moment good timing to break now before we leave and uh, should be all fixed up. We're back in business I just got one little thing to do I put a lug on here for support because I wasn't sure been how it work so I'm just going to put that on there and I'll play to that bit later but that's it we've got a Canaan high flow air filter as opposed to our Indonesia find what we could bolt screw put together which has just fallen apart on our last passage up to um, Langkawi from Penang just made a three inch down to a two and a half inch here and I'll sit that there so our floor now actually doesn't foul the filter and um, being that last time this was connected straight to the engine and the floor rested on this and after so many thousand miles it sort of just rubbed away so we're not gonna have that problem now 
Job done. The blue part's just a reducer. So this is, because the K&N filter comes in three, three and a half, four, or whatever it's set to, um, we come off two and a half inch, so that's a two and a half inch to three inch reducer. So that goes on to our engine. And is that special plastic? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> special heat proof, sort of, I don't know. The old sort of car um, air filter set up, so I managed to find that at the wreckers in Indonesia and then added on a bit of air hose that I found that has now just fallen apart and um, that connected to there where our original one fitted on here but used to rub on the floor, you can actually see the indent on it. That's that, we'll get rid of this monstrosity and um, hopefully this fits in. Where were we? Uh, Padang in Sumatra. Episode blah blah, I'm not sure. I'll put a link guys, it'll be in the corner, you can check that out. This is what we put together, it's like an old car um, air filter setup, but it done the job, it got us out of trouble, so I just connected that onto our engine. I have no idea even if that's the correct airflow for our engine, but it was all I could find at the time. And um, yeah, it's now going in the bin. It was a MacGyver moment. Yeah, that's all good. Out with the old, in with the new. Look at that, hey? Perfect. This bracket I got him to weld on here. I just knew there was a few bolts hanging around here that I could sort of brace that to. So that'll work. The towel pool will be able to breathe again. It's actually not quite two and a half inch. It's a little bit sloppy there, but I'd have to put a packer in it. An odd size, it's about really? 66 mil or something. So I think it's a little bit smaller than two and a half inch. Just chop that down a mil. Oh, that might work, there we go. Oh, look at that. I just had to put a packer in here. That should work. It's just a couple of mil out. I could have probably tightened it with the pipe clamps, but what a nice snug fit. Job done. Brackets on. Nicely supported. She's ready to breathe some fresh air. So we're getting ready to leave and we're just doing our last little jobs making sure that when we are sailing in the uh, big ocean that things don't go flying and Bella just hooked up this little net in our room so all the stuff at the end of our bed doesn't go flying so she's done such a great job it's beautiful thanks honey To preserve our big blocks of cheese, we vacuum seal it, chopped up into smaller pieces so it lasts longer. We freeze some and we fridge some. coming past the shops and uh, there is a monkey feast going on they all hang out at the bins 
Get all the stuff out of the bins, and Bella loves the monkeys. Stop! Daddy, stop! <laughs> Bye, monkeys. You look like you're having a delicious feast. last minute jobs I think we've got maybe a day or so left and we've had to relocate our, our iridium it used to be down here and obviously it's trying to shoot through concrete and our track with predict wind ends up with all these funny little arrows everywhere it's because the antenna actually works for the for the tracking even though we have an external antenna for the GPS so predict wind recommended we put it up higher which I've done so I've just got a new USB which I'm gonna mount uh, made up a little wiring harness, fuse that, bang bang, connect that up and hopefully we get a better tracking system now. And uh, yeah, it's been a little bit of, bit of a um, hard one getting this gun. We hadn't turned on for a long time, we had the battery expand. Um, don't know why it did, but it's pretty common. Apparently a lot of other sailors have had them um, expand, maybe not in use and the lithium being left fully charged, I'm not sure, don't know. Anyway, we've got new battery, new location, new USB, new harness going in, and we should be in action. Righto. Like this video, guys. Please subscribe. Keep watching. We've got exciting times ahead of us, crossing the Indian Ocean. Super excited. So stay tuned. Bye. Bye.